Yo, what's going on guys? Today, we're going to be going over the best heists in GTA history. We're going over every single heist that I know about. I, I don't know if there's a heist in San Andreas or Vice City. I have no fucking clue. But I do know there's heists in GTA 5 and GTA 4 and GTA Online. So we're going to be going over those heists today. Which ones are the best? Which ones are the worst? You know, that's kind of that's kind of the idea. That's that's literally it. And you know, I'm watching some putter. Um, you know, I don't really watch putter anymore. But you know, I'm checking out this video right here. And man, I'm astonished right now. This is actually one of the heists that we're going to be talking about. The uh, the how can I get bored super fast heist? So the heists we're going to be going over are going to be the ones from GTA 4, GTA 5, and GTA Online. Because uh, those are the only ones I know of. If there were heists in the earlier games, um, I don't think anyone gives a shit because I've never heard about them. So, starting off with the debut heist. The heist... The first heist ever played was... Um, I would say the prison break, but it's actually uh, the jewelry heist. And I'm going to put it in good. This was the first heist I even knew about in uh, GTA 5. I actually remember one time I looked up the GTA Doomsday heist way back in like 2018. Um, I don't know why I was looking it up, but I looked up GTA heist Doomsday, and I think I ended up coming across the Jewel Store heist by accident. I don't know how it happened, but it happened, and I don't know why I was so confused when I was watching, like, cause it's a story mode, but I only I never played story mode before. I played online, and or maybe I haven't even played GTA Online yet. I was just watching. I was, I was curious what Doomsday Heist was, and I ended up watching the Jewel Store Heist instead. I was like, what the? F this ain't the fucking Doomsday Heist. They're robbing a fucking store. Where's the Doomsday Heist? I was so confused. I don't even know how I ended up watching it, but I did. So that's kind of how I found out about the Jewel Store Heist, and then I act ended up playing uh, GTA. Story mode, like, I like to say 2020. About the end of 2020, I played the story mode, and oh my goodness, I realized, wait, that's what that was. So yeah, um, Jewel Store Heist, I actually like a lot. Um, the first heist, the classic heist, you can't really go wrong with it. Um, it's just a decent heist, you know, I would put it in decent tier, even though, because it is decent, but I'm going to put it in good, because I actually do like this heist a lot. Um, you know, it's not your typical bank heist, so, you know, it's alright, you know. Next up, we got the Fleek Hijab. I'm going to put this one in boring because it's the first heist for a reason. It's just getting you into it. It's not supposed to be anything crazy. It's not supposed to be anything fun. I think this heist is definitely the most boring. Two setups. They're both cheeks. Um, the cutscenes are all right. The cutscenes for all the original heists are great. They're fine. Uh, they're great and fine. But the problem I have is with the gameplay. Sometimes that was pretty boring, and the Fleek Hijab's gameplay was... It was alright, you know, it wasn't nothing crazy, nothing special. So I'm going to put it in boring. My, maybe I'm being a little mean with that one. Yeah, no, Fleek Job. Fleek Job's a bit boring. You know, it's not that bad, though. Maybe I'm just going to rename this one to not bad. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> so yeah, the Fleek Job ain't bad, but it's nothing good. So it's just the heist that gets you into it. Next up, we have the prison break, and people are going to flame me for this probably, but I'm going to put this in good tier. Now, people are, people are going to fucking cry. People are going to go crazy, but the prison bake was like the first, first, first heist that I found out about. I think I was uh, watching one of my YouTubers that I watched back in the day, like way before I played GTA, like back in 2017 even, maybe 16, if we're pushing it. Um, yeah, I watched the prison break. I watched him do the prison break, and it honestly looked really fun. Um, even though he has an aneurysm because he's playing with two randoms, but it wasn't didn't look that bad. You know, I honestly thought it was pretty cool. You're breaking someone out of prison. You don't do that very many times in GTA, like ever. I think you do that maybe. No, I'm pretty sure this is the only heist you can do that in. You can only break someone out of prison. Just this heist, pretty creative heist. I think it's good. There were things that they could have done better. The setup missions are alright. I've done those setup missions like a thousand times. The ones I always see, people are always, I'm always getting invited to those, you know. But the Prison Break, it's the OG, it's the classic. Probably the first actual OG heist I played. Even though the Fleek is first, supposed to be first, I always played the Prison Break first. I don't know, I because I always got invited. I was like, yeah, I want to do a heist, man. I want to do a heist. And then I ended up doing the Prison Break. Uh, if you understood any of that, you know, good for you. Um, So yeah, Prison Break's definitely my favorite. Just one of the heists that I completed first. Probably the first heist I completed on this game, along with all the setups and stuff. I remember doing 
the butt bus setup a thousand times. I think I did it for myself one time. I remember doing that shit on Xbox One, queuing up for lobbies, and it would take so long to get people in those lobbies. But it was so worth it, because those heists were actually pretty fun when you got the right crew. I played either with randoms or with friends, you know, but most of the time I was with randoms because, um, you know, my friends would be touching grass or GTA wasn't popular anymore. Just depended on the circumstances. Um, so, yeah, that's the prison break. Next up, we got the Merryweather heist. And, you know, I'm going to put this one in Kill Yourself. I hate this heist so much. No matter, like, ugh, the scouting the port is the most interesting mission in these string of heist setups and missions. And heist, but fucking whatever. Those are the most interesting parts. Like, getting the mini sub, I understand why it exists. But, oh my fucking god, you couldn't have made it easier. Like, you couldn't have made it a bit more fun. Um... And then, you know, you have to do the cargo bob too, depending on your approach. For f some fucking reason. Um, I, uh, I hate this, I hate this string ambition so much. And, uh, I forgot to say this, but the criteria for these heists also include, like, the strings of missions that also build up to the heist. But, uh, you know, that's not a big factor, depending on how good the finale is. But, Humane Labs, <sighs> fuck, um... Yeah, the Meriwether heist, I hate it so much. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Next up, we got the Humane Labs. Doing this with randoms sucks donkey dick. So, um, but the actual heist is f uh, pretty fun. So I'm going to put it in decent. Doing the EMP, like setting up the EMP, doing that with randoms, I couldn't do. I took, I did it for so many times, and I was like, oh, fuck, I'm just going to my friends. Gonna... Like, it took three hours for me to decide... Yeah, no, nah, I'm just gonna do this with friends. And before you before you say, this was back in 2020, all right? So chill out. <laughs> I had a good excuse to do it for three hours. <laughs> oh, I'm also a loser, but <laughs> I'm such a loser, bro. Um, yeah, uh, I, then I did it with my friends. I don't know what the fuck I was doing. I don't know why I just didn't invite my friends in the first place. Like, oh my god, I got randoms that I knew, but then like I I shit you not, I got two randoms that I knew, and then there was this third guy. I don't know who the fuck he was. I honestly forgot about him. <laughs> Um, but they, like, started getting in a fight in the fucking voice chat. I was like, brother, what the fuck? Like, and then they both rage quit. I was like, god damn it, dude. Like, we got so close, and they were like, man, fuck this. And then fucking rage quit. Like, <laughs> god damn it. So, you know. Um, most irritating setups on planet Earth. So, actually, I'm thinking I'm going to move this down. No, not bad. Just because of how irritating those setups can be. <sighs> Never, ever doing that shit again, bro. Never, ever. Like, even with friends, that shit's, most of that shit's annoying. Then for the finale, you have to travel, like, ten minutes just to start the fucking heist and get to the thing. And, like, if you're in the helicopter, you're just sitting up there shooting helicopters the whole time. Like, yeah, I'd rather not do that. So, depending on your perspective, the human labs can actually be pretty shit. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it there. Next up, we got series of funding. Trevor appears, you know, um, it's pretty boring, to be honest. It's not that good. Uh, you know, the setup missions are pretty cool, I guess, because you're being like a, you're robbing people for their drugs and stuff, but you can do that with the biker businesses, I assume. I honestly don't know. I never did the fucking biker shit. Like, I did it back in, when I first started playing, so I thought, oh, God, I could get a lot of money doing that. No. No, I just focus on doing heists. I just grinded the fuck out of the heist. So, yeah, um, series of funding. So, booty. I didn't. I, the only cool part was Trevor being in it. That, that was the only part I liked. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I can't really say that the heists are super crazy or anything. And Ron, Ron, you think you're in charge, you little bitch. Oh, my fuck. Okay, anyways, uh, moving on. We got the Polito heist. Where am I going to put this shit? I honestly, one of my favorite heists in the game, so I'm going to put it in good. It's not the best, but it's pretty fucking cool. So, I mean, comparing it to the rest of these heists... Honestly, might put it in best. I mean, nah, it doesn't do enough to be in the best tier. Um, cause you're you drive there, you do a shootout, which is pretty fucking cool, and then you hop on a train after fighting through a factory. That's pretty cool. So it's pretty fucking good, but um, you just not enough variety. You know what I'm saying? Um, and maybe that's gonna come bite me in the ass when I'm ranking the rest of these heists. You're going to be like, oh, this one this one didn't have enough, but oh, look at this one. Yeah, you put this one in best tier. Like, shut the fuck up. Anyways, moving on. Uh, we got the Pacific Standard. This one's decent. It's your average um, bank robbery scenario. Um, 
Yeah, I can't really say too much about it. It's not bad, but it's not it's not like a standout heist. It's the finale of the OG heist, but at the end of the day, it's just your standard bank robbery. So that's pretty cool, but it doesn't. It's not something crazy. So you know, yeah, I don't know what to say about. I don't know. I don't have too much to say about that one. Next up, we got um, the data breaches. Kill yourself. Honestly, just kill yourself. I remember doing that with one of my friends. Oh my god, kill yourself, buddy. I the setups for that, and then the actual finale. Boring as fuck. Not fun. Get the fuck out of town, brother. Get out! Like, shut the fuck... Get the fuck out of here, brother. What the fuck? Oh, man. Whatever. Um. Anyways, moving on before I get into aneurysm thinking about it. The Bogdan problem. I'm gonna put this one in decent. And you might be thinking, how the fuck's a prison break better than the Bogdan problem? The setups, again, a lot of them, they're so pointless. And you could pay your entire life savings and your kid's college fund to, you know, do one setup mission with the... To pay for one setup mission, but... Yeah, no, I'm not about that life, brother. I'm not about that life. Um, I'm not. <laughs> the the heist, the finale itself is kind of underwhelming because you're just shooting a bunch of people, then you watch a five minute cutscene. But it sets up the finale, so I mean that's pretty cool. But I don't know how to feel about it. It's nothing crazy. It's pretty much on par with the Pacific Standard. Dare I say, better? Because the Pacific Standard setups are also fucking boring. Uh, I actually did that heist for the first time, like, on my own, I think, uh, back in April. That was pretty fun. I don't know why I'm bringing it up now, but, you know, I did that heist for the first time and completed it, like, as my own heist, you know. So, yeah, the Bongard problem, pretty underwhelming. I, I thought there was going to be more happening. I mean, it's pretty cool. It sets up the climax, which is the third heist. No, not your girlfriend. Um, that lives in your head, by the way. Uh... Get out! The, the Bogdan problem. It's pretty underwhelming. I thought more was going to happen, but it sets up the... But it's setting up the Doomsday scenario, so I can forgive it for not having too much action. Now, cutting away from the Doomsday saga real quick, let's talk about the FIB Ray, brother. Yeah. We're going to put that in good, because I don't want to put that in S tier, although I think it is, because the setups weren't irritating. At least not in my opinion. Um, and then you have to fucking blow up a building... And then you have to get in there, depending on which one. It's They're both pretty fucking intense. Actually, this is the mo one of the more intense heists, so I'm honestly going to put this in best. You know, you, you got that little adrenaline rush, and people are going to be like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about? The FIB raid was not that fucking intense. Pretty intense, especially if you don't know what's going to happen. Like, the fucking helicopter crashing into the building after they got shot out of the sky. Or, um, you know, just fucking planting bombs in there in general. That's pretty fucking crazy. Um, most intense heist... So far in the GTA 5 story. And probably one of the more intense ones compared to the GTA Online heist. The most... Okay, none of the GTA Online heists are that intense. But you get what I mean. It's a pretty cool um, heist in general. I think it's awesome. And, uh, you know, Franklin getting fucking TKO'd by the fire explosion thing. And fucking Michael never noticing and just walking away. Like, oh no. There was a big explosion. I wonder if Franklin's behind me. I think I'm just going to wait till I'm down three stories before I a ask him. So, yeah, um, you know, Franklin got TKO'd by fire. You know, was really scary. Uh, and then you have to, like, climb down to the bottom of the building, you know, or a uh, rappel down, right? Like, f 70 fucking stories. Yeah, pretty fucking intense heist. That's all I got to say. And then the doomsday scenario. Um, I'm going to put this at the top of good because it, the stakes aren't... Well, the heist is pretty boring. Like, it's anticlimactic. Like, you're in the tunnel, then you have to fight a bunch of annoying-ass juggernauts. You have to snack every five seconds after you get obliterated with the auto aim. And then, yeah, I don't know. It just, it's not that good. And I'm not, I can't lie to you. It's not that crazy. But I'm still going to put it in good because there's stakes to it. You're getting like two million, not even two million bucks. <laughs> A little under two million bucks of saving the fucking world. Like total, by the way, not just for yourself. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. You get to use jetpacks. You have to kill Avon. You have to stop Clifford from, you know, fucking blowing up the world or whatever. Blowing up the universe. So, yeah. Um, I want to put it in good just because of the idea. Um, but maybe I might put it in decent, even. Now I'm thinking about it. I want to put it even lower. Like, the, originally I was going to put it in best, and I thought about it. I was like, nah, I'll put it in good. Now I'm thinking about putting it in decent. Like, pfft, I don't know. This Doomsday Heist was not that good. It pays decent. And I'm, I'm second-guessing everything. I'm just going to put it in good because the stakes are there, you know. 
Uh, pretty cool idea, pretty cool concept. And the fights, they're a little boring. Uh, you know, I can't put it any higher. Actually, I'm going to put it in decent because you're just shooting up the whole time. Story-wise, best online heist. But when you think about it gameplay-wise, it's super fucking boring. So I'm going to put it in decent because, you know, they kind of they kind of cancel each other out and, you know, hold it up each other. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Anyways, moving on to the GOAT of all the heists in GTA history. The Diamond Casino heist, baby. Bro, my favorite heist. I don't know I don't know what it is about the Diamond heist. Probably because, like, that was the heist. That was the shit when I first started playing GTA online. And I'm going to point this out to you. I play on Xbox, and it was during the pandemic, and my mom finally said yes <laughs> to letting me play this fucking game. And I got GTA Online, and I played the Diamond Heist like crazy. I think those, I watched someone do the Diamond Heist, and I was like, dude, I want to do that, bro. I want to rob a casino. So yeah, I robbed a casino, baby. Diamond Heist, like, I just remember, like, me and my brother, we would, like, research, like, GTA series videos, like, videos on the Diamond Heist, and, you know, how to do Silent Sneaky, because I was stuck on Silent Sneaky. I could call Lester and cancel it, because that's not how capitalism works or something. Lester's a dickhead, apparently. So, you know, we had to, like, study the heist and study the routes. Like, okay, I'll do this and you do that. And then we'd still fucking fail, like, five times. It was it was a pretty good time. It was a pretty good time. And then, you know, he'd be like, well, I want 35%. Like, you fucking didn't help with any of the setups. Oh, I don't care. You, you, you can get someone else to do it. I'm, I'm not fucking doing it. Like, man, fuck you. Like, fucking blackmailing each other just to do the heist together. <laughs> yeah, honestly, GTA Online, the Diamond Heist, my favorite heist, probably pretty much my favorite of all time because you're robbing a casino you get to rob diamonds brother uh and you know it's yeah and you get i don't know i don't, I don't know how to explain it just diamond heist my favorite you know best money maker of all time but the first big update i was around for was the ko perico heist i can't tell you how hyped i was until i realized lester wasn't gonna be there and i was like man man fuck we don't even get lester i guess lester just fucking despawned or something but the, the ko perico heist i'm gonna put it right under the diamond heist honestly um i really like this heist this heist was awesome i mean when it first came out it was super laggy and kind of sucked to play on xbox one but honestly the caprico heist was pretty hype i played with one of my friends and then you know he had to get off it was like nine o'clock i was like man fuck that i'm just doing that. i'm gonna do the heist without him and i did the heist without him. i was like dude i'm sorry i had to um I actually really like this heist. Uh, doing it out of the submarine and all that, but you know, I have a bias, a personal bias towards the Diamond Casino heist. But I remember like getting all my friends on like the Cape Rico heist. Like we had a fucking full lobby and we couldn't like you know clear out all the guards without raising the alarm. That shit was so tedious. Then we finally did it, and then uh, actually I don't even remember what happened after that. I think someone fucked it up. I think I don't know. I don't know. Someone somehow sold the bag. I remember someone. I think someone got caught on the cameras or something. Yeah, a Caprico heist, but the Caprico heist is pretty good, you know. The Caprico heist is pretty good. Um, best heist in the game, the Diamond Caprico heist by far. Um, you know, it even puts the FIB raid to kind of shame. <laughs> no, not really. It's not that much crazy. Right. Story wise, the FIB raid is pretty cool. Um, so Caprico and Diamond Casino heist, honestly, should get their own tier, but you know, for simplicity's sake, I'm not gonna do that. Next up, we got the Union Depository. I'm going to put that one here. I remember doing that in story mode, you know, thinking, oh my god, it's the big one, man. It's the big one. Um, it was a pretty cruel heist. Um, you know, there's multiple ways to do it. Pretty intense, depending on which one you're doing it as. The obvious score is way more fun, way more action, a lot more fun. <laughs> Did I say that already? Uh, yeah, Diamond Casino Heist. Uh, fucking it. The Union Depository is pretty fun. It's basically like the cap off all the other heists. It's the best heist out there. I might, honestly, I don't know why, but I really like the FIB heist. And I might even put that one over the... Put that over the Union Depository heist just because the tension was there. And, you know, there's not much tension with the Union Depository. I just didn't... I wasn't feeling the tension in that one. I, I mean, I probably had the ending spoiled to me. So, you know, whatever. Who cares? Um, the FIB one, I don't think I knew about that one, so that was more intense. So maybe the Union Depository should have been more intense for me the first time around, but I don't remember it being that way. I don't remember it, you know, being super cool. I mean, I'm getting a million fucking dollars, like 20 million fucking dollars 
No, I'm getting 200 million fucking dollars. That, that was pretty cool. That's like the coolest part about the heist. Um, but I kind of just knew that it, we were going to pull it off. Fuck, we haven't fucked up yet. And even if we get caught, like, who the fuck's stopping us? Who? Who is stopping Michael, Franklin, and Trevor? Who the, who the fuck is going to stop them? Nobody. Nobody. So we kind of already knew the heist was going to be finished. But we have one more heist to rank. You're probably wondering, oh, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? If you remember, I said GTA 4 2, kid. And guess what? We got the three leaf clover, I think it's called, or four leaf clover. I don't remember. But uh, we rob a bank in GTA 4. I think that was the first heist Rockstar did for GTA games. And I think people really liked it. I remember playing it, it was pretty cool. I'm not going to put it in best tier because it's it's like the Pacific Standard. It doesn't stand out too much, except it has more story, so that makes it better, I guess. Um, yeah, it's probably the best. It's better than, you know, the Prison Break and fucking Jewel Store Heist. But, actually, you know what? My personal bias, fuck you guys. I'm putting this one here. It's better. Prison Break is better than Three Leaf Clover. <laughs> Prove me wrong, kid. Prove me wrong. Make your own tier list, kid. Yeah, that's that's my that's my tier list. Um yeah, the Diamond Casino Heist is the GOAT, certified GOAT, game-changing for the game. <laughs> uh, you know, Camp Rico Heist is pretty game-changing too, but it was kind of following in the footsteps of the Diamond Heist. And the Diamond Heist setups too aren't super boring either, you know, especially with the fucking oppressor, it just makes it so easy. The days just take a while, but Camp Rico Heist you can do alone. So, I mean, I've made more memories with the Diamond Heist because you, like, literally have to play with people, so maybe... That's probably what makes the Diamond Heist better for me. Just more memories and more fucking around on that heist and all that. Camp Rico Heist, you don't get to do that as much. I usually just do that one solo because who the fuck cares? I don't really grind GTA Online anyways anymore, so it doesn't really matter to me. But whenever I want to fuck around, Diamond Casino Heist, like fucking land on the helipad for no reason, even though staff lobbies faster. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I like the Diamond Casino Heist way more, you know. FIB Ray, people are going to be like, dude, what the fuck are you talking FIB raid was pretty fucking intense, pretty cool. You're in a fucking high rise that might collapse under your feet. So yeah, uh, people are dying, you know, on your side for once. So that makes it a bit more intense. Union depository raid. I want to put the FIB raid above that one, but people are gonna get mad, so I'm probably not gonna do that. Um, you know, prison break. People are gonna get so mad that I put it in fucking almost. I mean, S tier, I guess. Uh, you know, you can cry about it. Prison Break, I have a personal bias, too. Get over it. Uh, Three Leaf Clover, you know, pretty good heist, or solid heist. Uh, Jewel Store, another solid introduction to the heist in GTA Five. Another one of my personal favorites, personal bias, mainly because it is the first heist we do. Um, yeah. Polito Bay Heist, also a pretty good one. Pretty fun, but it's nothing super crazy. Then the Doomsday Scenario, Bogdan Problem, Pacific Standard. Our uh, cookie cutter missions, you know, nothing too crazy going on. Basic missions, basic heists, but you know, it's still pretty fun. Then, you know, you got the fleek of job, the humane lab, series A funding. Blech. I'm going to kill myself when I hear that when I'm editing. I'm going to actually kill myself. And then, you know, we got the bottom tiers like fucking Meriwether heist and data beaches. Never say Trevor has a high IQ again after pulling that fucking shitty ass heist together. So yeah, that's, um, those are my picks. Those are my picks for the best heists in GTA Online. Can't wait for TGG to copy this video idea because it's goaded. And, uh, you know, that's all I really got to say. Anyway, boys, I'll see you later. Peace.